if you would like to display size charts on your WooCommerce site in a way like I have here with help of this button or with help of this custom tab here. And if you would like to know how to do that, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes to set up. Now a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm going to show you today, take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child teams functions PHP file, or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site and you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your teams. So code snippet is a, another option, but there is also a third option and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a Toro review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. In this video, I'm going to use code snippets plugin. So I installed it and activated it. Now I'm going to go to the snippets and add new. Now, before we add any snippets here, we have to go back to the plugins though. So plugins add new and let's search for a plugin called reusable blocks extended. This one here, install and activate it. And after that, you'll see a blocks menu up here. If you click on all reusable blocks, then you'll see that it allows us to create reusable blocks and it gives us a short code for it. So let's create the block, add new, give it the title, for example, size charts world. And now you can use Gothenburg editor to add whatever you want here. Just as an example, I'm going to paste this table here. I'm going to publish it. And now if I go back to the all reusable blocks, you'll see it here. And there is a short code for you. So let's remember this place here. And now let's go back to the snippets, add new and give it the title, for example, size charts for all products. Now paste this snippet here. Couple of things for you to point out. First, this one here is a button name size chart. Add it here, also here and here. Next one, this one here is a block short code. The one we took here. So just grab this one here and paste it here. Nothing else here to configure except the close button. If you would like to rename it, just rename it here. Now choose only run on site front end, save changes and activate. Go to a product page, refresh it and it's here. If you click on it, it opens up. If you close it, it will close down. At the moment I positioned it after the WooCommerce product meta, but with the help of this part here, you can position it wherever you want. I'm using the Bloxy Pro team at the moment and therefore I can see all the WooCommerce hooks here. If you don't use a Bloxy team and you would like to see visually where are the hook locations, then just Google for Business Bloomer single product hooks. Open it up and you'll see the visual guide is here. Just grab the location, replace it here and you're good to go. Now this solution added the button. Next time I'm going to show you how to add a custom tab here with a size chart. And this means we have to go back to the snippets, add new. Give it the title, for example, size charts tab. Next, paste this snippet here and a couple of things for you to point out. This part here, measurement charts, this is a tab name. Just rename it as you like. This one is a title shown above the content. If you don't need it, then just delete it. And last part, once again, it contains the short code that you got here. Just replace this part and it should work well. But to test it out, let's select only run on site front end, save changes and activate. Back to the product page, refresh, and it's here. If I click on it, it opens up. And this one here is a 
heading I added here. Now probably would like to ask, yeah, but what if I would like to display different charts for different categories? Well, this one here is a bit trickier. And once again, Business Bloomer comes to rescue. So Google Business Bloomer conditional logic, open up this link here. And this contains a bunch of examples for you, how to use a conditional logic. So in order to keep this tutorial short, I'm not going to show you how to use this one here. Instead, I'm going to show you a much easier solution. I'm going to go back to the snippets. I'm going to deactivate those two here. And as you remember, I introduced the WP Codebox plugin in the beginning of this video. So I'm going to go to the WP Codebox. Here's my new snippet. I'm going to give it the title. For example, size charts hoodies. Next, I'm going to paste this snippet here. It's the same snippet I used before. The same short code here and so on. Next, I'm going to open up this part here where to run the snippet. Instead of everywhere, I'm going to choose custom. I'm going to open up condition builder and I'm going to add a condition. So I'm going to choose taxonomy is product categories and hoodies. So what does it mean? This snippet will be activated only if the product belongs to category hoodies. I'm going to save and close, save it here, activate the snippet. And now let's test it out. This one here is a beanie. I'm going to open it up. As you see, it belongs to category accessories and no size chart here. But if I open up hoodies, for example, this one here, the button is down below. But what if I would like to display this size chart only for this product only and nothing else? Well, it's fairly easy to do. Once again, I'm going to open up condition builder and instead of taxonomy, I'm going to select current post is hoodie with logo. I'm going to save it. So here, refresh it. And as you see, hoodie with logo has a size chart button. But if I open up this one here, then no button for size charts. So once again, this is the reason why WP Codebox is my favorite code snippet manager. It allows me to do all sorts of stuff. For example, I can upload this snippet to the cloud. And next time when I install the plugin on my other sites, I can just download this one here. Just to demonstrate it, let's add a WooCommerce product inquiry form. This one here, download from cloud. And now instead of custom, I choose everywhere. I'm going to save it. Let's refresh it. There is my button. If I click on it, it opens up my contact form. So I'm going to disable this one here and this one here. Go back to the snippets. Activate those two here. Refresh it. And here are my size charts I created. Now, if you would like to know how to create the custom product tabs like this one here, then I have made a Toro tutorial. Take a look at the screen right now because there is a video. Now, if you like this tutorial, then press thumbs up, spread the word, subscribe to this channel. And if you would like to ask something, then let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, take care.